your old pal Rob. Today on Warm Pieces, we are going to be looking at a company that just keeps on killing it lately. And I do mean killing it. And that is Compass Games. Um, the recent game that they've come out with is called Coalition, the Napoleonic Wars, 1805 to 1815. And boy, is this different and it is unique and the, the components and everything is just absolutely beautiful without me going too much farther and, and gushing about this. Why don't we go down to the table and take a look at this fantastic game from our good friends at Compass. All right, so I actually have to take the camera off the stand because this map is number one huge. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the components on this are just through the roof from very easy to read uh rule book um which is just absolutely fantastic which i'll show you very shortly and 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 we'll go through to the unbelievably ease of the chips look how beautiful those chips are all right i mean just absolutely fantastic rounded edges for those of you that want to clip you don't even need to because they're, they just fall out like they're butter now um, you're going to have your uh, home cards, which are going to explain your two major powers. As you see, we have France here and the uh, United Kingdom right here. Uh, up top here is really important because each turn you're going to be uh, accumulating uh, from, from all the nations, and depending on who you're aligned with, uh, two sets of points, RPs and EPs, economic points and reinforcement points. And that is what's going to, to generate the engine here. Because with the economic points, you're gonna be able to buy uh, coalition cards, which are, are are going to be events that are going to happen. Um, they are gonna stay into play for two, for two, um, two turns, and then they will be terminated after that, or there are other conditions that will terminate the coalition card. A British player can hold on to those cards for as long as he wants and play them when he wants, uh, but you can only play them once, and once you play them, they are gone. You're also going to be purchasing event cards, and they're going to help you and do all kinds of different things throughout the game, and they're going to be very critical in, in what you spend and how how you go about spending and how many cards you want to get in your hands. You're going to see how many economic points and reinforcement points and each turn you're going to use these. Now the turns are going to be in a couple different type of phases. Um, you're going to have, um, you're going to advance the turn marker. You're going to have your coalition phase. Okay. And that's where you're going to uh, uh, pretty much uh, adhere to everything that goes in the coalition. Continental system check production. Now this is where you're going to get and generate all these points and um and that's where you're going to get and you're going to start uh, purchasing event cards recruitment and reinforcement and then you're going to deploy and generally uh, uh, re uh redeploy excuse me you're going to be moving things around the next thing is your action phase and this is where you are going to be moving and doing some battles there are two there's a sub phase in each that are going to uh, that you're going to perform um, you're going to do your first action phase and then you're going to do your second action phase and they're considered two sub phases then a winter phase and then you're going to check for victory and and the, and how you win is determined and how you lose basically is all on your home cards now combat is just so simple and 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 really unique uh, for instance right here we have napoleon with a uh a unit here and uh say for instance they were trying to take over the northlands here uh but napoleon decides to intercept him well it's two on two which is one on you know one to one and then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to add the factors of Napoleon and, of course, uh, Bonner P, or I can't even say his name. And that's going to be a minus one to his two, which means he's going to get plus one on the roll of the chart. And then you will roll a single die as such, and then you will apply whatever results. So a four becomes a five. So on this chart here, it would be uh, a one attacker loses slash defender uh, defender retreats so 
um, how you decide to, to do that and how, how, how you want to go into your battles really determines, plus adding any kind of event uh, cards that may add modifiers. Um, you're going to play a series of turn. There are seven different uh, coalition cards that change the way the the way things go as time goes. So through. as you see, battles are really easy and, and 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 simple to figure out. The rule book, the rule book is done so well. Um, as you can see, it breaks down each phase. It gives you examples. Again, this is where Compass really shines, making good, clean rule books and easy to read. Uh, talking about uh, winter phases where your boats, uh, where your fleets are going to have to, you know, return to port. Um, um, the different phases that you're going to go through, the map areas, uh, breaking down the home cards, like I said, uh, the EP, the RP. Uh, the home card information that uh, uh, pertains to surrender, invasion, army reductions, and special rules that you're going to run into, um, uh, reinforcements, uh, what you can do and when you can reinforce, uh, gives all the information that you need to, to, to get through the game, believe it or not, all on a single card, which is just fantastic. Uh, examples of, of, of economic points and reinforcement points beautifully laid out and then uh talking about sieges how you can uh do fleet battles uh there's a lot going on here and it's it's really really well getting major powers to surrender and then end game and victory uh, adding up victory points um and glory points are which are going to uh, help you win at the end of the game unless you can end the game early you can play this game up to uh, you know to, from three to six players also by by taking on the different powers or you could play two players where the, the British takes over a number uh, uh, the British and some allies and the French and their allies um, again some uh, an example of how to play which really helps you understand the flow of how the whole game flows through again another fantastic book by our friends and of course a player supplement on the back which uh, helps you out as well as including a couple of the player supplements to help you through as you can see but in good quality cardboard once again really hammering home and really making this easy to understand and of course your surrender table your sequence of play uh, attrition uh, matrix and battle matrix so there you have it a quick look at just another masterpiece from our good friends at compass games so without further ado my good friends let's go up top and get my final thoughts on coalition from compass games I mean, once again, you know, Compass has has come, in, in my mind, has put so much passion into putting these games together. And Coalition is, is just another one in a long line of fantastic games that they've been doing. Um, the quality has been through the roof. Um, this is a company that I really think that you need to take notice um, very smart in their selection of games. Um, uh, this 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 is just really amazing. I love what I what what I love about it is the EPs and 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 you know it's Great Britain versus France and and how the different you know having different alliances is is going to get you economic points, reinforcement points, and how you're trying to struggle um during each turn to to overcome and get more of an economic uh, strength as well as reinforcement points to force the other country to surrender um this this really does and looks unbelievable and 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 the counters are are perfect and beautifully cut um, and, and the board, the matted board, board is just absolutely gorgeous to put on a table, as you've seen. And uh, it, it just plays very smoothly. Um, I, I haven't got enough plays in it, 
but I will tell you that this is something that if you are a fan of the Napoleonic War like I am uh, and you're looking for something just a little bit different this this really does um, just add you know the event cards and and how quickly you know you, you could fight Waterloo in about 10 minutes but you know it, it is a a grand scale game and and it just does so much and it does it really well and I really suggest that you check this out you won't be disappointed uh, coalition from compass games um, just a long list of games that they are just killing it with lately and I can't wait to see what they come out with next I'm telling you right now Bill and John are doing such a tremendous job they keep on raising the bar every single time I take a look at one of their games and let me tell you something it is a pleasure to have these games here on War and Pieces. That's for doggone sure. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.